Easter holiday, despite these challenging circumstances. We've got a great assembly for you today. We've got some Fit Friday. We're going to find out all about St George. And we've also got yet another special guest. I wonder if you've managed to work out who it is yet. Before we find out whether you're alright or not, we've got this week's Shooting Stars. Hi everybody, so this week's Shooting Star in Nursery goes to Jacob Ellis. Well done Jacob. Jacob, I'm giving you the Shooting Star because you have been working so hard. I have seen lots of your work, your dinosaur work mini beast work and I have seen some amazing name writing Jacob so well done. Keep up the hard work. Bye! In yellow class for using his amazing math skills when working on takeaway sums, working out the answers correctly and recording his answers, congratulations Luke Sexton! Hi everyone, it's been so nice to see your amazing work from this week on our topic of butterflies. I've chosen somebody to be shooting star for Blue Class and this person is somebody that's been working really hard and they have actually created their very own picture of a caterpillar using some uh, flowers and leaves which they have found outside. So my shooting star for this week goes to Jessica Baker. Well done, Jessica, and keep up the great work, everybody. In 1A, for an amazing, horrible history poem, we have all enjoyed seeing the work you are producing at home. This week's shooting star is Freddie. Well done, Freddie. The shooting star this week in 1A goes to Lily Betts for her positive attitude for working at home. She's really enjoying the topics that we've been doing and trying really hard with her English, but I'm extremely proud of her maths work in particular. She's been really persevering with her maths doodle work. Keep it up, Lily. Hi all, so this week's shooting stars for year two. Firstly, in 2R, goes to somebody who has been dressing up at home in um, our Horrible History Steam and has also created a mosaic and some brilliant artwork. So this week's shooting star goes to Madison. Well done, Madison. In 2J, the shooting star goes to somebody else who's been doing some brilliant online learning. They've been doing their daily read, write, ink sounds lessons. They've been working exceptionally hard on their handwriting and they have been creating some brilliant history fact files. So this week's shooting star in 2J goes to Bo. Well done, Bo. Keep up the hard work, everyone. It's been lovely this week to uh, speak to quite a few parents uh, on the telephone and uh, I've been finding out all about uh, George Green and the amazing collage work that he's done to uh, create a wonderful picture of a Jaguar. So I'm going to give my shooting star this week to George Green for his wonderful collage work and also all the other work that I've been hearing about him doing. Brilliant work. Keep it up, George. Keep homeschooling. Keep smiling. 3W have two shooting stars this week. The first one goes to Logan Sexton, who has been working incredibly hard this week, especially on writing his fabulous story about a boy who loves dinosaurs. His picture of a dinosaur was amazing too. He showed great determination to include loads of detail. Well done, Logan. Also in 3W, we are all very impressed with Drake, who has been working very hard at home and really persevered with improving his handwriting. Keep up the good work, Drake. Well done. For H, I'm going to be a little bit greedy this week with my shooting stars. My first shooting star goes to Erin. Well done for being a fabulous, amazing doodler this week. Keep up the good work. And also a Riz. A Riz, it was a joy to read your Tudor Exploration PowerPoint this morning. Great job, well done. 
Keep up the good work for H. See you next week. Hello 4F. I hope that you're all doing really well and that you had a fantastic Easter. Um, Miranda and I have had a lot of decisions to make this week because we've seen some fantastic work, haven't we? She's eating an apple at the moment. Fantastic, seen some fantastic work on both the Facebook and work that's been emailed to us. So it's a really, really tricky decision this week. However, Miranda agreed with me that the work we've seen, the Tudor project work that you've done this week have been amazing. And we have chosen, we've chosen a person each this week. So Miranda, do you want to tell me who you've chosen? Somebody whose Tudor project work and their Tudor writing has been fantastic. And I can see that they've worked really hard on their handwriting. And the person who I'm going to choose is someone whose Tudor work, they've done fantastic artwork, fantastic map work, and they should be really proud of themselves. So we have two people, don't we? So my first person, the person that Miranda chose was Rylan, well done Rylan. And the person who I have chosen is Scarlett. Well done Scarlett. Keep safe 4F, keep sending me your work. Well done. Hi everybody. Uh, it's been an absolute pleasure to see all of your great work being shared on the email and on Facebook uh, from the great stories that Millie and Alfie have sent me uh, to the uh, great excellent war work that Louis did and all of you who had a go at the anagram task. Now I can't give my shooting star to Tiana's grandma who apparently beat me on that. So this week I'm going to be giving it to someone who's been doing some excellent reading. Uh, his work on the Industrial Revolution was fantastic. So well done to Lucas. Congratulations. Bye everyone. Hi everyone, it's Mr Hyde here. I hope you're all well. 5H Hales, the shooting star of this week goes to someone who he's full of energy, has been working really, really hard at school this week and has impressed with her comprehension work too. Well done to Eva Jade. Keep up all the hard work. Take care, everybody. Good morning, everybody. I'm going to award my shooting star this week to somebody that is a real spelling superstar. Somebody that enjoys spelling lessons at school. But not only that, they have also completed all of the spelling objectives that Mr. Barber and I have set on Doodle since they've been learning from home. So we're really, really proud of you, really impressed, and hopefully the shooting star will inspire you to keep working as hard as you can in spelling. And also, in English and maths as well. So very well done this week to Jamie Bissell. I've also managed to speak to lots of you and your families this week, which has been lovely. And I have loved hearing about all the things that you're doing while you're at home, from playing games with your family, to playing football in the garden, reading and writing, and even some science experiments going on. So very well done and keep up the hard work. Keep reading, keep going on Doodle every day, and check out the class page because there are lots of ideas and projects aimed especially at year sixes on there as well. Hi to everybody in 6B. Uh, it's been really nice to catch up with a few of you this week on the phone and hear about all of the hard work that you've been doing at home. And it's been great to see as well from looking at Doodle how many of you are working really hard uh, while you're off school at this time. So shooting star for this week in our class is going to go to Shreyanch for a wonderful effort on improving his guided reading skills at home. Shrey was able to talk about all of the things that he'd been doing to try and improve not only his reading, but also his comprehension skills too. So well done, Shrey. You really deserve it this week. Big round of applause for all of our shooting stars. Well done. And now our key worker children are going to tell you all about St George. The dragon was a fearsome beast eating children for a feast. His scaly body, green and red, supported an enormous head. Hello, and in the head of the gaping jaw from which a fearsome flag would draw, his evil monster was a sinner sinner who loved his taste children dinner. The lovely princess, young and tall, she didn't want to die at all. She didn't like this ferocious beast who gobbled children for a feast. She didn't want to hear the crunch of her young bones as the dragon's lunch. She didn't want his bright blazing breath.
breath Roar. to sing to her hair and bring her death. saint of this England. My hero. Well done, key worker children. You did us proud. And now it's time for our virtual special guest. Hi there, Maple Dean School. I'm Jasper Cart, and you won't have the faintest idea who I am because even I don't know who I am. But I have been on television a few times, and if you watch Golden Balls, then maybe you might have a clue. Now then, uh, Mr. McLean, who is uh, uh, one of your uh, caretakers, you know, he sweeps up and stuff, has asked me to do this message. Apparently you have been uh, working very hard while you've been um, at home and isolated, and that he is very pleased with all that you're doing, uh, and, uh, and all the folks and the parents are all getting stuck in, and the school is pulling as one uh, to get the best results as possible. Um, Mr. McLean, as you know, is, is on a sabbatical from Twycross Zoo. Uh, he helps out in the in the monkey uh, uh, compound um, and he, well, he's a, he's a very good monkey and scratches a lot. Uh, so uh, I'm babbling on. I haven't got the faintest idea of what to say next. So uh, well done, uh, Maple, Maple Dean. C uh, keep on uh, rocking, working, laughing and uh, one day someone will, will tell you uh, who I am. Bye. A massive thank you to Jasper Carrot for giving up his time to wish Maple Dean well. Thank you. And now it's time for our Doodlers of the Week. The most amount of doodle stars in the infants on English goes to Logan in one in. The highest amount of doodle stars in English in the juniors is Lorena. The most about dues of stars in the juniors on maths goes to Tiani and Bison. The highest amount of dues of stars in maths in the infants is Lily in blue class. The most amount of dues of stars in the infants on tables goes to Daisy in 2J. The highest amount of doodle stars and doodle titles in the juniors is Lorena. The most, amount of, the most amount of doodle stars in the juniors on spell goes to the Wand in the 6 The highest amount of doodle stars and doodle spelling in the infants is Lorena in 2J. Now, we are now going to give the awards for the classes on track. In the, in the juniors on English, it might go to 5 it might go to 6 but it actually goes to 3W. The most, uh, the most children on track in English, it may be blue class, but it's 1A. The, the most people on track in the infants on a maths might go to blue class, it might go to 
one eye, but it actually goes to the yellow glass. Most children on track in the juniors for maths may go to 3M, but it actually goes to 3W. A big round of applause for all our top doodlers. Now it's time for a little bit of Fit Friday. These are some exercises you can do at home on Fit Friday. You can do some bad things. If you would like to join in with Fit Friday even more, Miss Albert has uploaded a video on to Move It with Maple Dean. We're now going to sing One in a Million.